If you're a nurse, a healthcare worker, or anyone with a healthcare background, then you want to report to this video. This video is dedicated to you. Okay, remote job seekers, in this video, I'm bringing to you positions from healthcare companies. So if you have a clinical background, these positions go all the way from entry level all the way up to nurse case managers. So be sure you watch the entire video to see if there's something that suits what you're looking for. Okay, I'm sure many of you have heard of Cigna, and Cigna has position for an eligibility representative. Now, this position is available in six locations, so it is being offered in these locations that you see here, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Illinois, Missouri, Tennessee, and Texas. And in this position, it is being offered through a Cigna subsidiary called Express Scripts. And they are now in partnership with Cigna as an eligibility representative, patient access. You'll be part of a dedicated team which helps the specialty pharmacy patients coordinate their medication needs and pharmacy insurance coverage. So here's a little bit more on the position. You'd help patients to get medication that they need by using your knowledge that you'll gain through training and your problem solving skills and support from your team to answer patient calls. You'll also interact directly with healthcare providers. You'll research issues on benefits coverage with pharmacists and doctor's offices and provide guidance to patients about medication coverage. And you'll have to be able to juggle multiple tasks without sacrificing attention to detail. So you'll be busy handling multiple requests at any given time, as well as documenting information from conversations in the computer system. So here is what they require. Now, this position does not require a college degree, high school diploma, or GED. Now, they do prefer a bachelor's degree, but it's not required. Now, they do ask that you have customer service experience and a healthcare background, healthcare experience with knowledge of medical insurance and terminology is preferred and will make you successful in the role. Also having general PC knowledge, including experience working with Microsoft Office, excellent communication skills, and high-speed internet and a quiet and private place to work. So basically, they have some other perks here for you that will make it an enjoyable place to work. You have a great working environment. You're going to have a choice of unique medical plans, prescription drug, dental, vision, life insurance, also some 401k plans available, paid time off, paid holidays, as well as tuition uh, assistance. Now, this is a rote remote position, but they are asking for folks to reside in those states, like I mentioned before. And as you see here, now, if you will be working at home, uh, they do ask that your internet connection be uh, obtained through a cable broadband or fiber optic. And uh, that is the position as far as the offering uh, I did research this one because it is not showing on the site. And from my research, it looks like it pays about 18 to $22 an hour. Okay, so that's the first position. So let's go ahead and check out what's next. Okay, so this next position comes to you from Elevance Health, and it's a referral specialist position. Now it does mention California here, but just know that there are other states that this is uh, available. However, they do want you to be 50 miles away from the nearest pulse point to be eligible. And the great thing about this position is there is a thousand dollar sign on bonus. Now Elevance Health is a uh, in conjunction with Carillon Medical Benefits Management, formerly AIM Specialty Health, and they are a benefit management leader in Illinois. Now, this position as a referral specialist, you'll be responsible for providing uh, to a clinical team in order to facilitate the administrative components of clinical referrals 
for various Carillon services. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It may be Carillon. However, in this role, you'd be responsible for initiating and managing clinical referrals for pre-authorization. You'll act as a liaison between hospital health plans, physicians, patients, vendors, and other referral sources. Review referrals for completeness and follow up for additional information. Assign escalated referrals to staff as appropriate. You'll be able to verify insurance coverage and complete pre-authorization process for radiology and other imaging exams. And you'll be responding to inbound calls, initiating exam requests, following established processes, meeting quality and production standards. You'll have to also be in contact with physician offices as needed to obtain demographic information and enter referrals, documents, communications and actions in system. So mostly you're going to be in uh, communication with physicians, uh, hospital, other clinical staff. You'll do some in, uh, inbound calls as well as documentation. This does not require a college degree. It does require a high school diploma or GED. And they're also asking for one to three years of experience in a high volume interactive customer service or call center environment with working knowledge of medical terminology or any combination of education and experience, which would provide an equivalent background. So definitely someone who has the customer service call center or call center background, but also uh, use and knowledge of medical terminology, someone who's worked in a medical office and for a healthcare company, maybe in their administrative office or someone who has call center background, plus that uh, experience as well. Now, for candidates working in person or remotely, which this is a remote position, in the below locations, the salary range is $16.50 to $20.95 an hour. And those locations would be California, Washington State, Colorado, Nevada, Jersey City, New Jersey, New York City, New York, Ithaca, New York, and Westchester County, New York. Now, they also offer a comprehensive benefits package, incentive and recognition programs, equity stock purchase, 401k contribution, and the salary that's offered for this specific position is based on a number of legitimate non-discriminatory factors set by the company. So, This position obviously pays upwards of the $20.95 an hour. In my research, I did find that this particular role could pay more than that, upwards of $26 an hour. So I do believe if they find the right person with the right experience, that would be possible. So do know that they are hiring for these locations here. And uh, you must be within 50 miles of the nearest pulse point. All right, moving right along, let's go ahead and talk about position number three. This next position also comes to you from Elevance Health, and this is for an office lead remote position. Now, this would be under the administrative support uh, division, and it is indicating that you would need to live within 50 miles of their Elevance Health location in Atlanta. So this is for folks living in Atlanta. Now, they are... uh, Looking for an office lead where you will be responsible for overseeing patient check-in, registration, and check-out. So you'll oversee staff and processes for check-in, verifying charts that are pulled for schedule appointments, demographics, eligibility, Uh, updated and current forms that are being utilized. You're going to also be responsible for analyzing daily administrative operations and utilization of resources, assist in medic user issues, and ensure proper cash controls are in place and policy and procedures are followed. For this position, they are also only looking for high school diploma, but they're also looking for a minimum of one year in a lead or supervisory experience in a healthcare environment or any combination of education and experience, which would provide equivalent background. Now, they are preferring that someone who's bilingual in Spanish would apply. That is a preference, as I always state. 
whenever you see preferred, it does not mean it's a deal breaker if you don't have that uh, requirement because it is just a preference. But obviously, if you are bilingual, it would give you an advantage. OK, so uh, they are looking for someone to be part of their team and they do offer a range of market competitive total rewards that would include merit increases, paid holidays, paid time off, incentive bonus programs, medical, dental, vision and short term and long term disability benefits, 401k match, stock purchase plan, life insurance, wellness programs, and financial education resources. So that's always a good thing. Uh, obviously, whenever you're applying for a position, you don't all, only want to look at the pay. You want to check out what benefits they are offering because that's also something to be considered. Now, in my research, I do believe that this position also pays upward of 21 to $22 an hour, but be sure to always do your own research for any job that you are applying to. Now, as you can see, this job was posted uh, over a week ago. So as of today and the time of this recording, it seems to still be open, but always remember you want to apply to these positions quickly because as I always state, work from home positions are in high demand. So let's go on to position number four. OK, so this next position is also coming to you from Elevance Health. It's an outreach care specialist and you must live in Ventura County in California. Uh, so this is restricted to that area. It is a hybrid position, which means you'll also be you'll be ro working remotely, but you'll also be in the field as well. The good thing about the position is also offering a thousand dollar bonus. Again, this is a hybrid model, remote and in field. Ideal candidates will live in Ventura County and within one hour driving distance of the office location. Now, in this role, you'll be responsible for ensuring an appropriate member treatment plans that are followed on moderately complex cases and for proactively identifying ways to improve the health of their members and meet quality goals. You'll coordinate follow up and care care plan needs for members by scheduling appointments or enrolling them in programs. You'll assess member compliance with medical treatment plans via phone or through on-site visits, identify barriers to plan compliance and coordinate resolutions. You'll identify opportunities that impact quality goals and recommends process improvements. You'll recommend treatment plan modifications and determine need for additional services in conjunction with case management and provider, coordinate identification of and referral to local, state, or federally funded programs, prepare reports to document case and compliance updates, establish and maintain relationships with agencies identified in appropriate contract, and you'll serve as preceptor for new associates and participants in or leads projects with cross-functional teams. Now, incidentally, they don't require a college degree. It does require you have a high school diploma, minimum of three years related experience or any combination of education and experience, which would provide an equivalent background. Now, they prefer someone who's a certified nurse assistant or certified medical assistant and or have a BS or BA degree in a related field. Now, that's a preference. It will give you an advantage. But again, they don't require it. But obviously, if you have that, it would give you a step above the rest. They're also preferring to have bilingual candidates as well. Now, for candidates working in person or remotely in these locations, which would be California, because that's where it's restricted to, the position pays anywhere from $20 up to $36 an hour. And obviously, if you have the degree, if you have the experience, or if you're certified nurse assistant or medical assistant, that would get you the higher pay. OK, so let's move on to the final two positions in this video. OK, so this next position is for a 
clinical documentation integrity specialist. So if you are a nurse and you've been looking for a remote position, One Medical is currently looking to fill this role. Now they are a primary care solution challenging the industry status quo by making quality care more affordable. And so in this opportunity as a member of the Medicare risk operations team and reporting to the manager of CDI, the CDI specialist will be responsible for supporting One Medical Senior Health's Medicare risk operations and other Medicare population health programs. This role will be a good fit for you if you have strong attention to detail, excellent communication skills, knowledge of medical terminology and coding, as well as an analytical and problem-solving mindset. If you are passionate about healthcare improvement and want to be a part of a growing organization, then this would definitely be a fit for you and they would love to have you. So in this role, you'll review office notes of patients to identify the diagnosis diagnosis in the HCC model. You'll also educate internal staff on clinical documentation and coding guidelines. You'll develop and support strong professional relationships with medical providers across the system. You'll review sessions with clinicians in local markets via video or face-to-face when possible. Utilize a compliant query process per guidelines and policy when conducting all queries, and you'll follow each query through to closure, including complete documentation. You'll prospectively generate suspect conditions based on findings from chart review and assist in the creation of decision support logic. You'll also assist in other monitoring activities, provide ongoing CDI team learning opportunities, maintain integrity and compliance in all chart reviews. You'll review medical records to identify documentation that supports the closure of H-E-D-I-S and other quality gaps, and you'll work closely with operations manager to implement MRO initiatives. Now, here are the qualifications that they're looking for. Minimum three years as a clinical documentation specialist or nurse or clinical documentation integrity nurse. You must be a registered nurse or have a bachelor's degree in nursing. They're asking for a minimum three years inpatient hospital nursing experience, CCS, CCDS, or CDIP preferred. I don't know what any of that terminology means, but if you're a nurse, you do. Knowledge of age-specific needs and elements of disease processes, working knowledge of the Medicare Advantage reimbursement system, and HCC coding is required. Working knowledge of HEDIS quality specification, excellent communication, verbal communication, excellent written and verbal communication skills, excellent critical thinking skills, ability to work independently in in a time-oriented environment, tech savviness, and strong proficiency in Microsoft Windows, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Google Suite suite of products. This is a full-time remote position that's based anywhere in the United States, and your salary range will be anywhere from $73,000 to $134,000 a year. They also include additional components such as sign-on bonus, annual performance bonus, equity grants, medical and other benefits, and other applicable incentive compensation plans. So as far as benefits, they go into detail here, paid sabbatical after five or 10 years, employee assistance program, competitive medical dental vision plans, uh, free one medical memberships, pre-tax commuter benefits, PTO cash outs, 401k match, opportunity to participate in the company equity programs, credit towards emergency child care, company paid maternity and paternity leave, pay life insurance and disability insurance. Now, all of that sounds really, really good. So if you are a nurse and if you have this background and feel as if you could qualify Go ahead and apply to this one right away. And let's move on now to the final position, which also happens to be for a registered nurse. 
Okay, as promised, this final position is also for registered nurses who are looking to work remotely. This is a nurse care manager position. There is being offered a $3,000 bonus, sign-on bonus. It is remote-based, virtual, and you must have hardwired access, no Wi-Fi, and you must be within 50 miles or one-hour commute to a corporate office. So if you live uh, about one hour from the Elevance Health corporate office, then you would uh, qualify. In addition, they're asking that you have a valid clinical licensure in the state of New Jersey or a multi-state licensure that covers the state of New Jersey. Now, your shift would be Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. So this is a second shift role. You'll also uh, consider working split shifts from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., or 4.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Now, as a nurse care manager, you'll be responsible for performing care management within the scope of licensure, licensure for members with complex and chronic care needs by assessing, developing, implementing, coordinating, monitoring, and evaluating care plans designed to optimize member health care across the care continuum. Now, this is what they ask of you. You're going to need to ensure member access to services appropriate to their health needs, conduct assessments to identify individual needs and a specific care management plan to address objectives and goals as identified. Implement care plan by facilitating authorizations or referrals as appropriate. Coordinate internal and external resources to meet identified needs. You'll need to monitor and evaluate effectiveness of the care management plan and modify as necessary. Interface with medical directors and physician advisors on the development of care management treatment plans. Also assist in problem solving with providers, claims, or service issues. Here are the minimum requirements. They're asking for a minimum of three years of case management experience, which may include condition-specific clinical experience, home health or discharge planning experience, or any combination of education and experience. Now, current unrestricted Unrestricted RN license in applicable states, states is required. As uh, mentioned earlier, multi-state licensure is required if the individual is providing service in multiple states. And for URAC accredited areas, the following applies. You must have current and active RN license in applicable states that allows for an independent assessment to be conducted within their scope of practice. And they require three years full-time equivalent of direct clinical care experience to the consumer. Five years full-time equivalent of direct clinical care experience to the consumer is preferred or any combination of education experience. Preferred skills, they're looking for associate or BS in nursing. Call center experience is highly preferred. Certification as a case manager is preferred. Participation in the American Association of Managed Care Nurses. Prior managed care experience. Knowledge of medical management process and ability to interpret and apply member contracts. Now, they also offer as well the market competitive total rewards that include merit increases, of course, paid holidays, paid time off, incentive bonus programs, and medical dental vision, short and long term disability benefits, 401k and stock purchase plan, as well as life insurance, wellness programs, and financial education resources, to name a few. So really, really great benefits there. Now, this position is not detailing your pay, but I would assume this goes up to six figures, probably comparable to the last position. So make sure you do your own research. Um, we do know that nurses do get higher pay if they have more education just with any position. So obviously, if you have a BS, you're probably going to hit the six figure mark. So this is the last position of the day. And I hope you found something here that will 
suit what you are looking for. If you have a clinical background, I know several nurses have reached out to me looking for remote positions. So be sure to also share the video with others if you know someone who's looking and for a remote position and has the healthcare background. All right, so that does bring us to the end of this video. And I thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, be blessed.